everyone, it's Karen, and I'm here for day eight on the 100 day, cha or 100 day project. And what I want to do today is, I want to go back to something from a couple weeks ago. And what page do I want to use? We'll use this one. So, a week and a half ago, roughly, actually on Saturday, April the 4th, I was able to go and donate blood. Now, this is something that I do on a regular basis, um, as often as I'm able to. And thankfully, I am able to do the what they call it, the Red Cross they call the power red donation where I do a double basically it's a double um, double dose or a double donation they hook you up to a machine they draw off a pint and then they pull out the red blood cells and the parts they want and then they replace the plasma and the um, and some more saline solution and then they start a second, they pull out a second pint, again, pull out what they want, and return some to me. So you do a double donation, you're only able to donate instead, every, instead of every two months, it's every four months. So I'm only able to donate three times a year, but I'm, I consider myself fortunate that I'm able to donate as often as I do. I have no problems with with the donations, I'm a good candidate for it. They, they apparently they love my veins. Um, they love my veins. They are happy with the fact that I have type O positive blood, which is one of the the more common ones, but also one of the popular, um, well needed and well used types of blood. I also have. In general, my hemoglobin levels or my iron levels in my blood are relatively high, and it makes me a good candidate. So that I, I'm certainly I've, I've never been flagged as being anemic. I'm always always at the high end of the required levels for your hemoglobin levels when you're donating blood. So. Um, I have all, <clears throat> excuse me, I have all these advantages when it comes to donating blood. So what I wanted to do is just do a little bit of, um, um, a reminder, but I just want to keep, um, what's what I'm looking for? I want to document, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, heavens to Betsy. I want to be able to document donating blood this past month. Now, let's see if I can. Not too bad for freehanding that. My scissors there. Looks like I can't concentrate on cutting and talking at the same time. Save that for later, as per usual. What I think I want to do is document inside.
So just as a, a side note, the hemoglobin levels for women is between 12 and 15. So mine's always on, it's always at the high end of the normal range. My doctor has no concern over that. It's, it's typically always between 14.8 and 15.9 is the highest I've ever seen it. Um, but it's typically 15 point something when I when I go to donate. My doctor is not concerned until it goes above above 16 or if it continues to climb all the time. So like I say I just wanted to document when I did the donation and let's put a little bit of a background on here. Let's see in my dictionary. Do I have? I often try to find a word that has some meaning if I'm using my dictionary or if I'm using dictionary pages. I'm hoping this doesn't make anyone uh, feel uncomfortable. The sight, the mm, thoughts of blood, doesn't. It's not something that that bothers me or makes me squeamish. Double red or power red, I think that's what they call it. I think I've been calling it the wrong thing. I know these are Valentine's Day bits of washi, but I'll use them today. If I can find the end. Oy, oy, oy. That's well stuck down.
that blends in too much. Now I just want to document the day I recorded this. Where am I? There it is. did it again. That's the second time. Oy. Let's see if I can save it on here. Sort of. Now it's a bit of a mess, but oh well. Oops. And today is Tuesday, April 4th. 14th. There we go. Let's say just a quick little documenting of donating blood. Alrighty. Thank you everyone for watching. Take care and I will catch you on the next video. Bye now.